Okay, this is exciting. I have here a map of Roman and Anglian York. What I want to figure out is where the Roman fortress ran in York um, in order to be able to follow it. It's great. Um, there we go, great map of the fortress. So you have here what they've done, obviously, they've set the original um the um, today's city map, but then they've put over it um, where the Roman fortress would have been. You can see the two rivers there, and you can understand why they built it there in the middle of the rivers. You can also understand that it could well have been subject to a lot of flooding here. So uh, we zoom in. Brilliantly, um, brilliant map. They've got um, all the different things um, that have been excavated. You can see uh, the baths, the barracks, a possible annex to the fortress over there. We're going to start here, the Multangular Tower. And you can see that's where the museum gardens are now, by the river. And then we're going to follow the path of the fortress. Today we have little pieces remaining from the Roman fortress. The tower to my right was one corner of that Roman fortress and the wall and the direction which it ran out. But where did it go? How big was it? And where would the Roman fortress be if it ran through the city of York today? Let's find out. Okay, so the wall runs down here, and you can see it says Roman Interval Tower. Another little tower which they could have defended from. This would have come up a good 60 or 70 metres. There would have been a lot of these at regular intervals along the fortress, hence the name Interval Tower. The idea here was that if you fired out arrows from the fortress, you could always hit the enemy from somewhere from one of the towers. So in other words, you would have um, either here been able to hit them from the Multangular Tower or from this Interval Tower. The wall continues up here. A small part of the wall left here in Exhibition Square next to where the bus stops are. Today a more recent wall surrounds the city. Today's wall is 13th century Booth and bar behind me here dating from 1300. This was built on the site of the original Roman gateway that was here. There were only four ways you could get into the city in Roman times. One of them was here, the Porta Principalis Dextra, translated from Latin, the right hand main gate. Today this shop behind me bears tribute to the name of the Roman entrance that stood here. The medieval wall makes its way around and the Roman wall would have followed for this part the same path. So just as the 13th century wall moves along, we follow the path of the Romans. 